Hi, I'm Lawrence. I'm Nick. Welcome back to our third episode of the Nick and Lawrence Show. We're happy to be here. We have some exciting things to ramble on about today. Yep. So we'll just get started. Lawrence, what do you got for us today? Well, if you notice in the title below, you have noticed that it is called What is a Treasure? And I've brought some of my collection. Okay. And so we've got, Dis- what do you got? We've got Disneyland USA, which is the opening broadcasting day of Disneyland. Wait, so can you tell me what these okay. are? So, so a lot of these are from the 1950s uh, and 60s when Walt Disney was alive. He would do his TV show to promote his Disneyland park. Okay. So, so these are DVDs. These are DVDs. Oh, cool. A, a couple of them are not related to the Disneyland show. They're more from the Mickey Mouse Club, but about maybe five or six of them are, mm-hmm. you know, related to his primetime show that was on ABC and NBC for 11 years. There were reruns up until about early 2000s on Disney Channel. Oh, okay. But it was part of their Walt, Walt Disney series. Walt you know, Disney? Walt Disney series. <laughs> that, okay. Walt Disney series that ran from when Disney Channel premiered in 1983 to 2001. And of course, after that, they kind of updated their programming. Okay. So these are um, DVDs of the show? Of the show. So all the episodes? All the uh, well. hi- highlighted to certain things, like Disneyland USA oh, is pretty okay. much based off of Walt in the park. Okay. So that's what, oh, this, that's, cool. that's what this one is. The two that are on the top here are two of his uh, lands, specific lands. This is Davy Crockett from the Frontierland okay. special. And you can show that, and then we That's have cool. and then our, David Crockett. And then we have our Tomorrowland series that kind of features what uh, in talking mm-hmm. about Tomorrowland and the future on disc two of that one. You find out more about his dream for Epcot and Disney World. Okay, so why don't you take us through these? So, so, have, so let's just talk about like what's available for all of these if people well, want to purchase them. Well, you have to go to Amazon. They are expensive today. Okay. How many are in there? How many DVDs? Uh, each one comes with two discs. Two discs. And mm-hmm. there's like really cool features in some of them. Like this one had a like a little movie poster and stuff. Oh, fun. Yeah. So okay. they have little tidbits and things. But this is Disneyland Secret Story of Magic, and has okay. a documentary that. Uh, yeah. Walt and Mickey. Uh, on this one, it has a 1956 documentary that came out to theaters about Walt's Disneyland Park. Okay. And then this one is another part of the Disneyland TV show, Your Hopes Walt Disney, which also is my favorite because they show on disc one the grand opening of the monorail and the Matterhorn. Oh, cool. A very vintage, which you can't find anywhere because they have to go and take it off of a kinescope for. Yeah. So this, wait, so the, what do you mean, the film that they the film, recorded the grand openings with? Uh, yeah, it was all filmed off of the TV in 1959. Okay. So that's on there? That's that on that, uh, that, that one. Then the ones here are um, pretty much from Mickey Mouse Club that ran for about four seasons. And we have one that was a serial of the show, which was just about Annette Funicello, mm-hmm. which was Mickey Mouse Presents Annette. That was just a feature of the half hour thing for about a year, and all of the episodes did. One season? Did. Yep. Okay. And so... There's Annette. Say hi. And then there's uh, The Adventures of Spin and Marty, which was another feature on the Mickey Mouse Club. Okay. So it was just like so, that series. That, what year was this? That would have been... Oh, Probably. Spin and Marty. It, it was probably 55, if not 56. It was early on this, in the season. They had a longer mm-hmm. run in the Annette series. It was probably one of the popular of the series. Okay. Okay. And um, so let's just show the last two that you got, and then, then we'll we have, talk about those yeah. three. That you and then we have the Mickey Mouse Club, and this is the premiere week of Mickey uh, Mouse how Club. Fun. So it says uh, October 3rd, 1955 to October 7th, 1955. So that's the first week. The first week of the Mickey Mouse Club. That was the first. In, in and out, was, in the hour long, and then they, after that first year, they went and did it to a half, half hour. Okay. And then the only thing I have that's not any of the TV specials or 
shows is this one vintage uh, um, volume two of the original Mickey Mouse. Film. This would be my favorite. I'll just say that right now. I'm going to have to get one of these. I'm surprised I don't have any of these. So Mickey Mouse in black and white. 1928 to 1935. This, this is, is volume two. Volume two. So there's volume I, one. There's a volume one. I gotta go and look for it. And uh -huh. that's more expensive and yeah. pricey. This was one that that's I just cool. happened to buy at Barnes and Noble for a normal price. And now today it's like you have to do anywhere from 500 to a thousand dollars for really? volume one. Oh my gosh. And that's because volume one includes Steamboat Willie. If anybody out there has volume one or knows a way to get it. We might be interested. So, just so our, our viewers know, my favorite is Steamboat Willie. I, I don't know what it is about the early Mickey, but I just I enjoy the black and white cartoons. So, this Mickey Mouse in black and white would definitely be my favorite. Um, but we'll get back to this and we'll let Lawrence. We'll, we'll, we'll do it on another. Yeah, we'll talk about that one on another one. Actually, I'll, I'll have to watch that so, so I can prepare to talk about it. But we'll go back to the ones that you wanted to talk about. Yeah. So, well, we can put these other ones away. And then you want to do Disneyland, Davy Crockett, and Tomorrowland? Tomorrowland, yep. Okay. So. So. These are all pretty cool. Yeah. So these are pretty much, I picked these because I, for a long time, have been trying to get at least somewhat of a collection of his four land things. And the only thing about the collection is that these are really the only two lands of his park that are, you know, available where that you get an idea of what he was talking about in the Sears Remote mm -hmm. Disneyland. And so David David Crockett at least comes right around the corner of the Disneyland USA thing anyway, because on Disneyland USA is kind of the they have his story of how the park opened. What his plans for Disneyland were going to be in all the lands and stuff. So on this one is the pilot that would lead into Davy Crockett and Tomorrowland. So these aren't, um, they're not documentaries, they're actually Walt and on the show talking um, about show Disneyland? Disneyland, but in a very fancy way. So like, like so Davy Crockett had a TV show, mm -hmm. and the thing that's interesting is that the knowledge I know is one of my favorite movies that goes to uh, We'll talk, we'll talk, go on Davy Crockett because mm. it goes and backtracks to another movie that I really like, which is Back to the Future. And there's a couple of segues in for Back to the Future. If you watch the movie, they'll play the Davy Crockett song when Marty McFly goes into the uh, in Toulouse Cafe. In the first one. In the first one. Okay. And so, so you're playing, getting, What what song is that? It's the theme song that David Carter goes, Davy, Davy Carter, King of the Wild Frontier. Okay. And, and then uh, and there's a later scene in that same movie where you'll see oh, the guy from The Wonder Years who plays the son, uh, who's the brother of Lorraine, has a coonskin hat. Oh, yeah, yeah. The reason I'm bringing all that up is <clears> because <throat> you'll hear the song and you'll see that kid wear a coonskin hat and keep as the mother keeps asking him, or at least doesn't ask, but keeps taking off the coonskin hat every mm -hmm. time. And the reason I brought bringing those up from Back to the Future is because this movie or TV shows became a really big craze in 1955. Oh, okay. And we, we can touch, even go back to this and uh -huh. that when we talk about Back to the Future later yeah. on in another yeah we, we can go in on that on back to the future um in another episode but that's right. that's very interesting because i didn't know about that right. um i guess i never thought about it but right that that's um a big yeah. disney thing and then just that uh, this was going to be promoting when he does the first day and later on this becomes a movie a year later so mm -hmm. they take the tv show edit it take it to the movie theater and make it a movie in the movie the TV shows were seen black and white, mm -hmm. and the way they've done it for this is they'll show Walt at the beginning of black and white, show the show which was already filmed in color, and then and then he ends it back in black and white. But everybody then would have seen it just all in black and white until mm -hmm. the theatrical came a uh, month before Disneyland opened. A month before. So that's... That the, is David Crockett your favorite? I, I like the David Crockett series. It's fun. Yeah. And then the... Uh, um, but like I said, so that's Davy Crockett, okay. and then this one is pretty much uh, 
everything in the park of Disneyland. So this is opening day, uh, and then the TV show that leads into Tomorrowland and Davy Crockett, and, and the other two lands, Fantasyland and Adventureland. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, so this one just features opening day, uh, our, our story, which is the Disneyland TV show to get everybody ready for that. And then on disc two, we have Disneyland After Dark, mm -hmm. which is a 1962 special featuring Disneyland in the park at night. Okay. And then their 10th anniversary special in 65 after Mary Poppins and the things that we talked about last time. And hmm. you know, just a 10th anniversary of everything that's mm -hmm. happened. Well, so all of these are pretty cool yeah. if you hadn't known about them. Right. But, and, and then the last is Tomorrowland. Tomorrowland. And yeah, so Tomorrowland is pretty much just learning about science and stuff, and he just, he did a phenomenal job on um, just discovering it. You really get the first three episodes from before the park opened, and they talk about like moon and space, and it's okay. more of like an educational thing, and That's it's kind of, kind of high-tech yeah. stuff, and things okay. that were predating Very cool. the moon and everything, so. Yeah, before the moon launch, right? Moon before launch, the moon yeah. landing. Yeah, there's like man and space. So this was... Between 1955. Well, it all ran in his timeline from 55 until 1966. Okay. All of the shows pretty much were an 11 year mm -hmm. span. Cool. And Walt Disney was the host of each host show. Each show. I didn't know anything about these sets, mm -hmm. and uh, maybe you have some out there, or maybe you don't, but if you're interested in some Disneyland mm -hmm. uh, memorabilia and, and collectibles, uh, check these out and they're available yeah. for the most part on online Amazon eBay right. you might have to pay a price for them because right. they, they are pretty they, pre pretty expensive unless I mean you can probably get some used ones without the tin case oh yeah and yeah. stuff but th this is one thing that's the, the yeah. traditional movie poster for 55 small print of that so that would have been a big poster a big poster for the Davy Crockett uh -huh. series when they released it to the see movie. that on the back it says Davy nicknamed his famous rifle Old Betsy. This, yeah. I think Davy Crockett is my favorite because you can learn a little bit more about Andrew Jackson, which was their seventh president, and all that from the TV show. Yeah. Okay. And they do a really good likeness. Of, uh, awesome. Yeah. So that's cool. All right. Well, I think um, we could go on and on and on yeah. about these. This is a lot of cool stuff. Uh, if you're a Disney fan, check these out. Um, Tune in, subscribe for more. We'll we'll be talking about Disney um, in future episodes. Um, this was just a taste. So we could yep. probably spend an hour talking about these probably. discs, but uh, I think we're at our time. So yep. if uh, if you're a Disney fan, um, what is your favorite? First of all, have you been to any of the Disney parks? And then second of all, if you have, what's your favorite um, land in Disneyland? Like we talked about Tomorrowland and Frontierland. And so there's there's quite a few different little areas, Fantasyland and um, different kind of uh, themed areas. If you haven't been to Disneyland, that that are really enjoyable. So if you've been, let us know what your favorite land is in Disneyland. If you haven't, let us know where you would like to go when and if you you make it to Disneyland or Disney World. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next week. Sounds good. All right. See you later. See you.